Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today we are playing my deck of TBR game for the month of July. How are we already playing for the month of July? I don't understand, but here we are. It's halfway through the year, and it's time to play deck of TBR. So before we jump in to playing, I do need to recap how June went. This was my teeny little stack of books for June. For the prompt random letter, I got the letter D, and so I chose The Day the World Came to Town by Jim DeFeedy, and I did read that. Uh, my Kindle here is representing Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. That fulfilled the prompt romance, and I did read that. For the prompt thriller, I chose The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth, and I did read that. For the prompt beautiful cover, I chose The Oceanography of the Moon by Glendy Vandra. I did read that, and I did a whole reading vlog opening Once Upon a Book Club box gifts. If you want to check that out, I will link it above in the cards. And lastly, for a book of the month pick, I chose River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shearer, and I have not read that yet. I would say that this is an easy win because I'm recording on the 20th of the month, but I, uh, last month took a reward when it should have been a punishment because I did not finish romantic comedy, which was on my TBR. I'm actually still currently reading romantic comedy. So I am going to take a punishment and I actually recorded it before this and I will need to add a draw. So instead of my five normal draws that I do, I will have six draws to start out with, which means it's more likely that I could add more draws with my three suits or my two numbers in one or my two cards in the same. Yeah, anyway, if you wanna know all the rules, I don't know where I state all the rules, but uh, yeah, we'll go. <laughs> we'll just uh, play as we go, right? You'll understand. All right, uh, this month, there's a lot of stuff going on that I wanna participate in. genre -thon, as usual, Buzzword by Books and Lala. The genre -thon is by Whitney from Tibra's Den. And uh, there's also Ketchup-a-thon, which I did not expect to happen. Ketchup-a-thon is a readathon hosted by Krista from Books and Jams and Amy from Amy's Bookish Life. This happened in October of last year, so I was thinking, we've got time. And then their announcement video showed up, Ketchupathon 2.0, which is Create Your Own Sunday, which I love because I'm a big ice cream fan, but they needed to do it in a warmer month, so they did it in July. This is taking place from July 9th through the 23rd, and the goal of Ketchupathon is to read as many book of the month books as you can. So I'm going to try with all my might to get my book of the month books on here. I also have a few projects I'm working on that I would like to get done in July. And so there's a lot of books that I want to get on this uh, TBR. So we'll see if the board and the cards will be in my favor. We'll do my book of the month catch up -a -thon TBR at the end. So we've got the cards. Do we need to? Oh, yes, we do need to reset. Um, I'm going to pick a new bomb book. I've got my handy dandy Empowered Women. Empower Women. And it's going to be this one. What is this one? The Dandelion Insurrection. I have unhauled that book. Did I? Yeah, I believe I unhauled this. So that's not a bomb book anymore that we can use. Throw that aside. Let's pick a new one. The Goldfinch. That wouldn't be terrible. That is a self-destruct book. This is The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. Let me put that up there. The mob book is in case I draw a joker. Okay, now we can shuffle. I never know if I should show you my shuffle. I've got a new configuration here too, so I hope I hope everything looks all right. All right, good vibes. We need to pick some books that I actually want this month. Okay, here is the first draw. A Jack, oh, yes! Okay, A Jack is a book of the month. Couldn't have got any better. So, I just have to decide which one. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think like what wouldn't fit easily into prompts so I could choose it now. <sighs> okay, I am going to choose The Inheritance of Orcadia 
Divina by Zoraida Cordova. Obviously, I should have practiced that before I picked the book up, but this is my first choice for book of the month, the book of the month prompt. This book, I believe, is about our titular character, and she has grown old and brought all of her family to where she is, or actually maybe she's died, and she brought all of her family to read the will, and she's left them their inheritances. Inheritances? Anyway, I think it's like kind of magical realism, but I've also heard that this is phenomenal. Some of the people I watch on booktube, it's their favorite books of years past, and so uh, I'm excited to finally get to it. I got it in August of 2021, so I'm glad that this will be on the TBR. No prompts to replace, so I can just put that jack of diamonds right back in. That's wonderful. How did it just work that I needed book of the months on here? And it was the first draw. I'm lucky. I hope I didn't jinx myself. All right, next draw is a four of clubs. Goodreads scroll. Okay, so this one, I need to go on Goodreads and the first book that I see that I own, I have to read. Uh, that's a little terrifying. But I will do it. Uh, I was looking up books that are coming out in 2023. Let's refresh this. Oh, okay. Oh. I do not own The Secret Book of Floralia, although I would love to read it. The Kingmaker, no. Strange the Dreamer, no. The Humans, no. Our Missing Hearts, no. Do, 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 do. This might take a while. I've never actually had this prompt come up, so it's fun. But it could take forever. The Book Thief I've already read, so I don't think I will choose that one. The Keeper Six I've never heard of. The Ancient City. Night Will Find You. One Night on the Island. Ugly Love I've already read. I do not own Akafas. I have already read I'm Glad My Mom Died. Dreamland by Nicholas Sparks. No. Page Boy The Whispers. I don't own. I would maybe like to read it. I recently read The Push by Ashley Audrain. Don't own Amari. Homecoming. I don't own. Romantic Comedy. I'm currently reading that. And that's me. <laughs> that's my update. Uh, Venom and Velvet. Wow, we Piranesi. I don't own where the crowd had sing. I've already read. Holy smokes. Uh, I've already read the Fiery Cross. Wow. Homegoing, I've already read. Oh, Jane is reading Homegoing. Yay, Jane. <laughs> That's like a wonderful, wonderful book, Jane. Lunar Love. Seven and a Half Deaths. Why don't I have that? I've read that. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. When We Were Bright and Beautiful is the first book I see. Which isn't horrible because it's a book of the month. But it's just not one I slotted into any of the prompts. But I can make it work. I definitely can make it work. So this is When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff. Um, this was my August of 22 pick. It says the acclaimed best-selling author of This Could Hurt returns with her biggest, boldest novel yet. An electrifying, twisty, and deeply emotional family drama set on Manhattan's glittering Upper East Side that explores the dark side of love, the limits of loyalty, and the high cost of truth. Okay. Another book of the month on my list, which is great to get on the TBR, just not one I was expecting, but that's okay. All right. When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Julian Medoff is book number two. All right, we need to replace the Four of Clubs prompt with this one. A book that'll make me cry. Good. I love a good book that'll make me cry. 
put the four of clubbies back in the deck and we'll shuffle. Again, I still think it's going well, even though it took forever to find that book on my Goodreads. It still happened to be a book of the month, which is crazy. So we will make it work. All right, that's enough shuffling. Here we go. Draw number three is another Jack. Are you kidding? Okay, it's Jack of Spades. Again, not mad, but this is just like uncanny. Uncanny. Okay, I'm going to add one that I've had on my TBR kind of it's been on my maybe red I guess uh for the last two months since I got it in May that is yours truly by Abby Jimenez I read part of your world which is the first in this series kind of more so a companion in this one we follow the main character in part of your world's best friend Brianna and she's a doctor and a new doctor comes to her hospital and she's kind of um fighting against him I think in some way but then they also start writing letters to each other and it gets cute of course because it's a romance and it's Abby Jimenez this is my third book of the month book out of three books it's perfect for catch up a thon Krista and Amy will be so pleased anyway adding this on for my third book for my book of the month prompt Jack can just go straight back in we don't have any prompts to replace so we'll shuffle and we have now Pulled three out of the six draws. Reminder, I have six because of that punishment I decided to take. I need to hold myself accountable. All right, here we go. Draw number four is a three of diamonds. A friend needs to pick a book. Okay, this has kind of already happened, which is weird, but I'm definitely going to use it because I'm going to take everything I can, right? I'm in a book club with some friends. We meet over Zoom and it was my time, my turn to pick a book. We will read it for our August meeting, but we meet at the beginning of the month. So I needed to try to read it in July. And it was my turn to pick, like I said, and I created this poll. And so my friends picked this book for us to read. So I'm going to add it to my TBR. This is Peace Like a River by Leif Enger. This is a Minnesota author. I have had this book on my shelves for a very long time. This is actually a self-destruct book, so I'm really glad I'm getting it on here as well. Uh, I believe that this is, oh, it's Leif Enger's debut. Wow. An epic of generosity and heart that reminds us of the restorative power of great literature. The story of a father raising his three children in 1960s Minnesota. It's a heroic quest, a tragedy, a love story, and a haunting meditation on the possibility of magic in the everyday world. It's going to be great. I know uh, a podcast I used to listen to, it was this couple of friends' favorite book of all time, and I'm definitely excited to get to it. So this is going on the TBR for a friend pick prompt. Let's replace the three of diamonds with this random number on Goodreads. So I would look at my, I think probably my physical TBR list on my Goodreads, randomize a number between one and however many are on there. I think it's like 170 or something. And I'd have to pick that book. So that's like completely up to chance. Three of diamonds is going back in the deck. Ooh. Cards are flying everywhere. I'm just getting too excited. It's always exciting to see what you're going to read the next month, isn't it? Oops. All right, one more for good measure. Here we go. A queen. What is a queen? Oh, dang it. It's a self-destruct book, which, okay, but I just added a self-destruct book on the TBR. Should have kept Peace Like a River off of there. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the shortest one. And maybe I'll kick myself in the butt. But it's only 170 pages. And it's so short. So I'm going to go with The Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. I had no plans of reading this this month. But I'm going to try. I think that's the best choice. The other ones are big. 
And yeah, okay, we'll just get it over with. Here we go. <laughs> you know what I just noticed? That's the third diamond I have drawn in this round. So we're adding a seventh draw. I don't know why I was still holding this up. I feel like I need to hold up a book. I'm a booktuber. Okay, no prompt to replace because the face card prompts stay on the board. If you haven't noticed with the uh, jack draws. <laughs> you know what? I have not gotten an ace. Like all year. I'm speaking it into existence. Get an ace, except I don't want an ace. That's the TBR jar and that's completely up to chance. Okay, here we go. Draw number... This is draw number six out of seven. <gasps> I literally just spoke that into existence. I really did. I did not cheat, you guys. Okay, crazy. Let's get the TBR jar. Here it is, the jar. I'm kind of excited because it could literally be anything. I'm also very nervous because it, could, it could be anything. Shaking it up. I think it's pretty up to date. Well, I mean, I've added books that I've bought, but I definitely have not taken books out. So we'll see, we'll see what we get. I'm scared, I'm really scared. Okay, this one is called my name, this one. The Lowlands, this is by Jhumpa Lahiri, I believe. And I misspoke, it's just called The Lowland, but by Jhumpa Lahiri. A novel. Uh, two brothers bound by tragedy, a fiercely brilliant woman haunted by her past, a country torn by revolution, a love that lasts long past death. An extraordinary new novel set in both India and America that expands the scope and range of one of our most dazzling storytellers, the best-selling author of The Namesake and Unaccustomed Earth. I haven't read either of those, but I have heard the name Jhumpa Lahiri. I don't know if I've read any books by her, but okay. Definitely not what I was planning to get on here, but it's always good to work on my physical TBR. <laughs> this is a big stack, people. And we've got one more book to go. We have gotten a lot of face cards. Uh, so we'll put this uh, ace back in the deck and hopefully draw the last book, the last card for my last book. This was a good month. I think it'll be good. I haven't gotten a lot of the books I want on here but that's okay. It's gonna be okay. That's not true. I've gotten one, two, three that I definitely needed on here, but they're like, you know, eight others that I could have gotten on. Okay, that's enough shuffling. Last pick. Another Jack. What is it with this deck? I feel like I've always gotten jacks. Okay, I'm not mad again, but it's also the same card I've drawn, a jack of spades. So we have to add another draw. And how do we figure this? Because I've drawn three spades. No, I'm just gonna count the jack of spades being drawn twice as another draw. It's okay, we're getting another book of the month on here. Just have to decide which one. It's gonna be another more recent pick my March of 2023 book. This is Wayward by Amelia Hart. I believe this is a generational saga following the women like in 400 centuries maybe. Almost. 2019, 1619, and 1942. Following three different women in those timelines and sounds great. Women across five centuries. Did I say that? I think I said that and said I was wrong. Okay. Uh, but it is a debut by this author. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, I think I've heard pretty good things, maybe. But also I haven't heard a lot. So this is going on for my third book of the month prompt, this game. It's like perfect for catch up a thon I don't know how this worked so well in my favor. But here we are, drawing book number eight. <laughs> so let's put that jack back in. Let's not draw that jack again. I mean, I guess if we did, it wouldn't matter because we've already got the extra prompt on here for that. I'm just talking because I'm nervous for all these books I need to read. It's, I can definitely read this many books in a month, especially this month or July. I have 
a lot of time off from work. We're going up to our family cabin. So the books can get read, but it just doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room for other books I'd want to read. That's okay. Not complaining. All right. Next. Last. It's not the last. It's not the last. If you weren't paying attention, that was two jacks in a row. What is it with these jacks? Krista and Amy, I'm blaming you for making this a book of the month. Readathon month. I wasn't going to read anymore. The books I chose all fulfilled the prompts that I wanted. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should leave this one open. Can I, friends, can I leave this one open Oop. and read my July book? Yes, I actually will get two books in July because it's my birthday. <gasps> can I, can I leave it open? I'm gonna leave it open. This is gonna be whatever I pick in July. I will have to read it in July, but I'm just like, mm. I'm looking out there and the only one that's really calling my name is The Wishing Game and I just don't know. Let's do this. I'm going to wait for my July picks. If neither of them I want to read next month, I will pick up The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. But I'm going to say this is a July book of the month read. I will add the wishing game to my stack just in case. There we go. Holding myself accountable. But <laughs> we have to add a ninth draw. Okay, Jack, go away. I'm shuffling these really good. Why do I keep getting Jacks? <clears throat> and... We've literally only been able to pick two prompts off the board. They've all been face card prompts. What's up with this? This may be the craziest game I've played. Especially because it's just so fitting for the readathon. I, uh, yeah. I'm not mad, but kind of. A little, a little weirded out. Okay, it's this one. <laughs> it's this one. A six of spades. That we can live with. Maybe. We'll see what the prompt is. Mm. <laughs> okay. My husband gets to pick a book. We will pause recording and get back to you. I am going to give him some options because I want to. So let me tell you the options. Okay. The three options I'm going to give him are Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. This needs no introduction. Papi Show by Leona Ross. This is for a project that I've been working on for a really long time. This is the last book for the vlog, so I would like to get to it, although it's gigantor. And lastly, One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle. I thought it'd be fitting to read this in the summer and also for a little secret project that I'm working on. So you will get to choose between these three once he's done putting our son to bed. Here's Willie, ready to pick my book. I'm giving him, I added an option and I'll tell you about it in a second. One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle is the first option. Show it higher. <laughs> Papi Show by Leona Ross. <laughs> You're a great booktuber. Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. Mm. And then this one I decided to add just for something different. June Reimagined by Rebecca Crane. Thanks, Willie. You're welcome. So, go ahead and pick. You're welcome. Okay, as you saw, Willie, my husband, chose Poppy Show by Leona Ross. Great. It's just a huge book. Okay, that's all right. How many pages are actually? Ha! 450 something, 460 something. Great. Okay, let's get this stack. 
This is like the largest stack I've had, definitely in pages. I think my March deck of TBR was bigger in books, but this is bigger in pages. Um, I'll put the, page, the amount of pages I have to read right there. Okay, let's see how long I can hold this up. Okay. Here we go. For a book of the month pick, I chose The Inheritance of Orcadia Divina by Zoreta Cordova. Cordova, sorry. For a Goodreads scroll, I chose When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Julian Medoff. For the next book of the month pick, I chose Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. For a friend pick, I chose Peace Like a River by Leif Inger. For a self-destruct book, I chose The Bridges of Madison County by something something Waller. For the TBR jar, that chose The Low Land by Jhumpa Lahiri for me. Uh, then I got another book of the month. Yeah, another book of the month pick, and I chose Wayward by Amelia Hart. The next one is a stand-in, a filler for another book of the month <laughs> prompt. I swear I did not, I did not set that up. Uh, and for that one, I'm leaving it empty for a possible July pick. Otherwise, I'll choose The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. And lastly, my husband picked Papi Show by Leona Ross. Ta-da! That yeah, that's a big stack of books. But I'm excited. It's a challenge that I can try to accomplish in the month of July. I just realized after sitting here for probably five minutes, scrolling, doom scrolling, that I forgot to tell you about my ketchup -a -thon TBR. So let's just quickly go through that. Um, yeah, so I have a little piece of paper here to help me. But the first task is to choose what kind of, what kind of, thing you want your ice cream in your sundae in and I chose a dish because that is what I would normally choose I am building my own sundae here I would choose a dish and the prompt for a dish is a hyped book and I feel like I've seen this one in a lot of places and um a lot of people really enjoyed it or wanted to read it at the time so that is the inheritance of Orchidia Divina I really should learn how to say it then you get to choose what kind of ice cream Vanilla, chocolate, or twist. And I chose vanilla because for a Sunday I would choose vanilla. And the prompt for that is a debut author. So for that prompt, I am reading Wayward by Amelia Hart. Then you choose a sauce. And I am choosing hot fudge on my sauce on my Sunday. And the prompt for that is a dark cover. And so I'm winging it with this one. This is a dark cover, dark blues. Uh, when we were bright and beautiful. That's my sauce. And lastly, toppings. I'm not a super big topping fan of like fruit or candy or nuts. And so they had whipped topping and that is light and fluffy. When I think of light and fluffy, I think of a romance. And so yours truly will be my light and fluffy whipped cream topping. Here's my Sunday for ketchup -thon. Hooray. I think I'll insert that in. So let's go back to uh, the regular outro. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these and what you thought of them, if you think I'll like them, if you think I won't like them, let me know. It'd be great to have some bookish conversation with you down below. Like this video on your way out. Consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.